Previously on the Lumber Baron. Who's this? I'm your wife, silly. You had her committed to an insane asylum. Going to the nut house. <laughs> what? And also, she happens to be co-owner of the lumber yard. Can't fire me. I just did fill out these employment application forms. I'm in. So what's the plan? We're gonna camo you up. Pretend you're a fly on the wall. We're gonna get over the top, in your face, up your ass. Passive aggressive. That roadkill scheme guy. Terrible. Huh? Just terrible. Lumber Baron does it all with one hand. Well, let me tell you about a man who sells his wood throughout the land. Come donkey time, he takes a stand and does it all with just one hand. Cause he's the Baron, the Lumber Baron of Jasper County. Well, Beta Team, you have done a damn good job of becoming flies on the wall. We gained a lot of intel. Oh, yeah, good. Missy was really the best fly. Oh, wow. Lula. <laughs> what can I say? I've got skills. <laughs> but now the time has come for y'all to be seen. Wait, what? Doesn't that kind of go against everything we've been doing? I'm starting to doubt she's got a plan at all. Ashley, I do not have time to explain my strategy to you. Whatever. Now, Missy, Lula, we need to pester that Catherine into oblivion, I'm thinking. Hashtag hell. Hashtag beta, beta team. <laughs> Your total comes to $1,630.26. Hey, that's not bad. We can have it out for you tomorrow. Oh, yay. Wow, hashtag fast. I mean, not implying that you're a slut. Say, aren't you the one who wanted to hashtag beat my ass? That was a misunderstanding. Well, you're lucky I'm not one to hashtag hold a grudge. Hey, we're here to hashtag buy lumber from a porch. Yes, uh, so do you plan to pay with a credit card? Well, maybe we should look at the material again. Mm -hmm. Sure, no problem. I gotta tell you, man, this whole thing has just been a, a terrible experience for, for all of us over there at Lumber Baron 8, man. It's just been bad. It's been, it's been like awful. Mm -hmm. It sounds really bad. Yeah. I hate to admit it, but we've done everything that we can think of to get rid of her, and you know, we keep coming up empty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hence why you've come to Mickey Bob? A bird. My heart goes out to you for your troubles and your woes. I feel the heart. But I can't help you, man. You see, I... this is a complete waste of our time. I told you. Well, Catherine probably would have outsmarted him anyway. Oh, yeah. Out Smart Mickey Bob? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, Catherine is a strategic genius. It's just no match for Mickey Bob. You know what? Mickey Bob is a strategic genius too. And you don't even know. He could totally outsmart that bitch. You're damn right. You know what, boys? <whistles> Count me. All right. <laughs> hold it right there. Now you hold it. Cease and desist. What the hell is this? I'm Mickey Bob's lawyer, and this meeting is over and out. Oh, but he's all out! Damn. I guess we should be wearing the pants around here, huh, Mickey Bob? <laughs> what should I say? The dress. Looks good on you, by the way. Good choice. Really? Well, it sounded like fun, and Mickey Bob was bored. Uh-huh. Damn, it's locked. We need a key. Duh. Let's go get Mr. Grenade. Okay. Oh, shoot. There she is. So, here's the material I showed you before. That looked really good on your porch. Agreed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> huh. Make yourself invisible. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and go and pay inside. Yeah, let's go inside. Let's go. Come on, let's go, let's go. Stupid, man. Where the hell are you taking me? Don't you worry, Lumber Baron. Doopy found somebody who wants to help with your problem. Good call! 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 Good call!
thought they locked you up and threw away the key. Hey, you don't let the bird out of the cage. I've up my game since we last met Lumber Baron. I'd be willing to take care of your business for just a nominal fee. How much? Nominal. Too bad. Huh? Oh, right. Yeah. Frog said at some point he's gonna say my name and I'm supposed to give you this paper. Makes sense. There's a number on there. That's how much he wants to charge for his service. Now, Lumber Baron, that's just the opening bid. It is open to negotiation. How about you can negotiate this shit? Ah! to use. Any of them work fine for me. This is a big hashtag decision. Why do you keep saying hashtag? It makes you sound like a tween. Hmm. What is it? Maybe we should look at the material one more time. Hmm. What now? I like it. Oh, hashtag, it's a go. That's what you said two hours ago. Well, I guess I should have gone with my first impression. Let's go. Wait. Maybe I need to call my husband, Cletus. Yeah, I think you should. Come on, office lady. Come on, you gotta pay. Come on. <laughs> I hate Cletus. Oh, Cletus, you were so funny. Stop it. <laughs> no. Oh, Cletus. No. No. Oh, you behave. Okay. Okay. Guess this. You hang up. <laughs> you hang up. Okay. Okay. Love you. Bye. <laughs> What's up? Cleta says, I don't give a damn what you buy. He said it just like that, too. <laughs> he is so funny. Yes. <sighs> I'm going to pay with a check. Wait. Maybe we should look at the material one more time. Mm -hmm. You look at the material again! This is a waste of time! Whoa, whoa, what's going on? Hey, Lumber Bear. Uh, hey, Missy, hey! Hashtag, hi! Hashtag, yeah! <laughs> hey, is there some kind of problem? Yes! Would you please just deal with this? These women are too stupid to be alive! <laughs> hey, man, that was a stroke of genius, but you did with Missy and Lula. <laughs> Missy and Lula. Right, Catherine, man, we're finally gonna push her over to age. Lumber Baron, I, I don't even know what you're talking about. I haven't even spoke with those women today. Really? Yeah. Maybe they're just being annoying just because they are annoying. Yeah, I guess so. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Huh. Huh. Maybe we're just putting too much effort into this. Perhaps the everyday obstacles of running the lumber yard will be enough to push Catherine over the edge. So, where are we with those orders? Uh, what orders? Oh, you mean these? I thought they were suggestions or inventory or something. Oh, cool. What <laughs> are you doing? You put that back. This upstanding young man is doing a scout project. Yeah, and we're looking for donations. Donations? <laughs> I deserve around here. I mean, I'm the boss. You know what I mean? I'm the boss now. Mm -hmm. And they need to pay me that respect. And yet, instead of respect, you know what I get? I get eye rolling. And you know what else I get? Mm -hmm. Attitude. Can you believe it? So what have you been doing all day? Having a gator brew? Playing gator brew askew. Were you aware that without looking, I can double her score? He can't double my score. No, That's, no. seriously. Um, were we supposed to be working? Now maybe we get a donation or not? No. All right then, looks like I'm taking my own donation. Hey Aunt Betsy, hand me that dillo cock. Sick of this, I am about to blow. People, heads will roll, Pete. Do you hear me? Pete, heads will roll. I handed you these orders. 
water six hours ago. You've been sitting on your asses and drinking for six hours? I'm afraid to get up at this point. You yeah. people are incompetent! Woman, scouting projects don't come cheap. You put that merchandise back or I'll shove it down your throat. All of it. Now get the f out. Really? Has anyone here ever heard of a garbage can? Hey, who used all the staples? This warehouse is a mess. Explain to me how you can stand this filth. Well, see, what happened was... Don't when... give me any excuses. You just told me to explain. Shut up! Explain it! Is there something we can do about these rocks? I can hardly walk here! Am I talking to myself here? Oh, I am. <laughs> There's no staples! <laughs> what is going on in here? Hell, you break a stapler? sympathizing with the enemy, Ashley. So we came up with this sophisticated idea to plant a webcam in my old office so we can listen in and gain important intel. Oh, sarcasm, Aunt Betsy. Damn, don't take everything I say so literal. Oh my God. And don't you go taking the goddamn Lord's name in vain, you little heathen. You want me to beat you on the, on the ass with the Bible? <laughs> you have a rough day? I gotta tell you, it's a tough job. It ain't for thin-skinned people. I'm not talking about the job. I'm talking about you and me reconnecting. Yeah, tell you the truth, I just, I just don't know what's gonna happen with us. <laughs> <laughs> I told you not to. Not to. Just please, just, just stop crying. It's, it's okay. It's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Yeah, hotel, that sucks. <laughs> Could I please come home tonight? You have to be a dumbass to fall for that one. Mm. <laughs> I don't think so. Man. Oh, please! <laughs> Catherine. Catherine. Please! Okay, fine, fine, fine. What? You gotta sleep on the couch, okay? And he's a fool. I'm done. <laughs> well, that's a start. <laughs> You're not fooling anyone, Ashley. And by the way, don't you ever put this on my desk again. You can hide all you want as long as you stay in the shadows. In fact, I welcome it. I want you to watch as I win and feel the burn as you lose everything you had. <laughs> then and only then will I allow you to lick my feet and call me master. <laughs> No, gross. I am not licking her feet. Ashley, we've underestimated her. She said spy training. I can tell. Yeah. You might have to get your tongue ready. You might end up licking them. <laughs> oh, speaking of corns, more popcorn. Oh, 
No, I lost my appetite. I'll Thanks. Just take it then. Oh. A little bit of popcorn. Okay, but no more. That's the last one. Okay.